Hey guys and welcome to another WX Python tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at the WX, uh, you know, actually we're going to take a look at how to create a menu, okay? It's not just about a specific widget because the menu in WX Python is not created out of just one widget. It's created out of several widgets, okay? First there's the menu bar, okay? Then there's the menu within those menu bars and then there's the menu items within those individual menus okay so the things can get a little complicated okay there's a whole lot of functions a lot of methods that we need to take a look at and there's a lot of functionality that we need to cover okay so this is going to be a pretty long video so be sure to pay attention and stick through it to the end and before we begin just make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content okay and i think that's enough for an intro let's go ahead and begin okay the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and create our menu bar okay i'll call it menu bar and i'll do wx menu bar okay there's no need to pass in any parameters in here we can just leave it to its default values okay over here i'm going to go ahead and create our menu okay and you should understand the difference between a menu bar and a menu okay basically let's take a look at the ide i'm currently working in okay the software i'm currently using to type all this python code you see this this is the menu bar okay this this entire region is the menu bar these are individual menus okay these are menus this is the edit menu this is the format menu this is the run menu okay and these over here are individual menu items okay so that's how wx python categorizes all of the stuff okay so I'm going to go ahead and create a menu now and I'll call it file, okay? And we'll go ahead and create this pretty simply, okay? Now what I need to do actually is append some menu items onto this. Now I could create the menu item separately using the menu item class, but there's an easier way to do it, which is self.file.append, okay? And this basically just directly takes in those values that you would normally pass into the constructor for the menu item, okay? There's no need to get confused, just do what I'm doing and that's all you need to do really, okay? And you'll be able to create fully functioning menus that actually look good and have a lot of functionality, okay? Alright, so the first thing that comes into these parameters is the ID, okay? Now, usually if we're adding some, some kind of generic item, we can just use the standard ID, okay? Which is ID underscore any. But I'm going to use some special IDs here called standard IDs, okay? Like new, okay? And the, the what I'm trying to create here, what kind of I, menu item I'm trying to create here is actually a new file option, okay? So it makes sense to use the special ID new for it. Okay, now the real reason behind using IDs like new, open, and save is that the system is usually able to detect it and automatically insert shortcuts and images for your menu item, okay? I can't actually explain this too well because it doesn't work on my system because some systems support it, some systems don't, okay? So, but normally what happens is that uh, using standard IDs, okay, there are only a few of them, like, there aren't too many, but if you use this ID, the system will automatically make things pretty for you, okay, basically. I'll, kind of, I'll explain this more as we proceed al along with the video, okay? At any rate, that's the second parameter, which is basically the name, okay? The name for the menu item, okay? The third one is kind of optional, but I'm, I, I'm gonna go, go ahead and do it anyway. Basically, what it does is it's like a tool tip, okay? If you have a status, status bar or something and you hover over this menu item, then the status bar will basically show this tool tip, okay? So yeah, uh, I need to describe this, so I'm just going to write create a new file, okay, pretty simple. And I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this three times, just make some adjustments, open. These are three standard IDs that I know about, open, save, and new, so I'm just going to be using these three, okay. Open, save, okay, and just did these a bit okay and now i have three menu items appended onto our file menu okay pretty cool right now we still need to do a little more okay 
we need to actually attach this file menu onto the menu bar. Okay, so I need to do self.menubar dot append and do self dot file and then write the name of this menu okay so i'll just write file okay it's pretty similar to how we have this up here in our current software that i'm using okay there's still one more thing that we need to do actually which is to connect this menu bar to the frame so what i need to do is self dot set menu bar and then pass in self dot menu bar in here Okay, so overall things were pretty simple if you ask me. Okay, like we can just separate this code honestly. Let's just make things a little nicer. Okay, and there you go. So we'll work on the menu bar within this section. Okay, and all the other stuff is just configuration code. Okay, so there's the um, creation of the menu bar. We created some menu items. We created the file menu here basically. And over here, we just created, sorry, we just attached the menu bar to the window. So let me run this now and let's see the output. Okay, we can see already that we have our file menu over there. I'll click on it and we have three options, a new, new file, open file and save file. Okay, but these don't do anything yet. Okay, and there's still more we can do to them. There's still, there's still more functionality we can add. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. The first thing I want to do actually is add in some special shortcuts, sort of. Just follow the format, format I'm showing you now, okay, and it'll benefit you, okay? You do it like, like this, okay, add in that and sign over there, then a slash, T, okay, and now you write a shortcut, okay? Basically, what you can do is add in shortcuts. For example, if you're using a software, like even here, take a look. You see all this over here? Control plus N, Control plus O, Alt plus M. These are shortcuts. If I typed Control dot N, this new file would be triggered. Okay, it's like just like if I had actually clicked it. So that's what shortcuts are all about. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy that shortcut. It says Control plus N for new file, right? So I'll do what's the spelling of that? Control, right? So I'll do Control plus N. Okay, this is the format. After this, you know, slash T, you're supposed to write the shortcut, okay? And it'll actually be detected by the WX Python code, okay? Now let's just do this for the others. For open, we'll do control plus O. For save, we'll do control plus S. Now let's run this and see the magic. Watch. There you go. Looks pretty cool now, right? Now, obviously, there's no point in me pressing Control plus N right now because we haven't linked these to any functions, okay? Oh, and by the way, one more thing. If you would actually, uh, if your system actually supports these styles, okay, so what's going to happen is that you don't need to actually add in these shortcuts. It'll do it by itself, okay? It'll actually add in the Control plus N shortcut by itself. It'll add in a little image over here. You see this little space over here? It's actually for the you know icon image okay so n normally you need to add this by yourself but for stuff with standard ids they get added in automatically but unfortunately it's not working on my system so yeah uh, maybe you'll, you'll have better luck okay so what's next well oh yeah we need to go ahead and actually link these to some functions so let's go ahead and create some uh, dummy functions sort of one of them can be called uh, save, I guess, and just, you know, pretty standard stuff, print, save function has been triggered, okay, and we'll just continue this basically, I'll make one for open, okay, and of course we need to do one for, what is it, new, self, E, okay, new file function has been triggered. Okay, so we need to actually bind these functions now to our menu items. How are we going to do that? Well, the thing is, once you, there's something I actually forgot to kind of add. It's this, basically. There's actually a return 
type okay this is this function actually returns the menu item okay so I, I wasn't actually saving it anywhere so I sh probably should have done that yeah so it's actually like this it's save item is equal to self dot file dot append okay this is the menu item basically okay this is the menu item that you can actually you know work on okay it's pretty cool it's pretty important okay so be sure to focus on it and this is not save item this is open item okay what is this gonna be it's gonna be wait no oh, wait well, what am i doing what am i doing this is new item this is save item okay okay so that's basically what's going on here i can now individually work on new item open item save item maybe add in some icons to them and most importantly we can bind them to um to these functions so i'm going to do self.bind and there are many ways of binding okay there's you can bind them in a different manner if you want to it's totally up to you okay so no sorry it's event menu if i remember correctly i hope so so then new item okay wait no after this comes the function that i want to bind it to so self dot new then new item okay now let me copy paste this three times like twice actually and save well, actually let's go in order okay open then save so open then save item okay so hopefully i should have done this correctly now let's click, click on new file okay look at that it says new file function has been triggered okay it says open file function has been triggered and i just clicked on the shortcut as well i just clicked on control plus n and the new file function was triggered okay you can see i didn't touch this at all okay now let me try control plus o okay that works and let me try control plus s that works too pretty cool and we can tell that everything is going really smooth over here okay pretty cool now there's one more thing i want to take a look at uh, with regards to menu item okay what i'm basically going to do is <sighs> open item dot set bitmap you can probably already guess what I'm doing here. I'm going to load in a bitmap file. I have one in my current directory. Okay, that's why this is going to work. I'll include a download link for these icons. Okay, in the description below. So you can go ahead, go ahead and use them. So yeah, I don't want you too much. There you go. That looks pretty cool. This looks professional. It looks pretty decent. And it looks like a proper GUI now. Okay, in my opinion anyway. So yeah, I have one more for save. Actually, I don't have one for new, unfortunately. At least I don't think so. Uh, I have one for save though. So let me go ahead and do that one. Save.bmp. And I'll use it on the save item. There you go. Pretty cool now, right? Save file, open file. This all looks professional. It looks good, okay? And if you ever created a GUI application, this is how you want it to look, okay? A shortcut okay it has an icon and yeah it looks good so you know what let's go ahead and create a sub menu okay yeah a sub menu now look it's pretty obvious how you would create additional menus right uh, i think you guys can go ahead and create additional menus on your own you know i mean uh like this you know the file menu the edit menu and stuff okay that's pretty simple so i'm going to teach you guys other stuff okay how to actually uh, do sub menus okay if you just want to create a new menu, you just got to do the same thing. Create a new menu like this, then just append it to the menu bar, okay, with a name. That's all you need to do. So I'll just teach you guys something else interesting, which is uh, creating a, what is it? Yeah, as a sub-menu, okay? So I'll do this self.options, okay? And uh, what should this be? What are the names going to be, actually? Let's call this one import item. Let's call this one. What should it, what should these options even be? I want this to be some kind of options menu. So if we're talking about maybe print items, okay. So let's just go ahead with these two for now. I'll think of more along the way, hopefully. Self.options.append so wxidne because uh, 
uh, we just using generic items there are no standard IDs for import or print okay and I'll go ahead and do this over here actually I'll just write them like this okay we don't need to add in shortcuts okay if you want to go ahead or you know otherwise be, you know whatever import files import external files as a description okay and let's come down here do the same thing okay I don't want to focus on this too much because you you guys know okay once if I teach you guys how do you create a menu once because you, you then you can you then you can create like a hundred menus right if I teach you how to create a menu item once you can create a hundred of them okay so I'm not gonna go around creating too many because that's wasting too much time print all open files okay so yeah now let's just go ahead and take care of this real quick I'm, I'm not gonna bind them to any functions okay that's kind of besides the point I just want to teach you guys how to create a sub menu right now okay so self dot file dot append sub menu then self dot options then we write the name of it I want to call it file options okay and just do this there we go there's our sub menu okay I'm gonna do this and it automatically opens up these two okay now this you gotta admit is pretty cool okay it already looks much better you know sub menus kind of add a new new feel to it you know really so yeah kind of okay so there's one more thing I want to take a look at actually there are two or three things I think because this is a pretty big topic I know but this is all important stuff this is all useful stuff this is all stuff that you will want to use okay there's one more thing I'm gonna add okay which is the um auto save option auto auto save item okay self dot options dot append watch this append check item okay I hope it's a check item and not check but basically append uh, normally just adds in a regular item but there are actually other types of items okay you can add in a whole bunch of other stuff you can add in check items you can add in radio items okay and these of course as you can guess from the name are based modeled after the check button and the radio button okay so they work in the same manner okay don't worry I'll show you guys so I'll do this and I'll say auto save and description can be auto save after five minutes okay <sighs> oof my god that was a pretty long so yeah let's do this and now I'm gonna click on autosave watch this and come back here and you see it is ticked okay it is basically ticked okay so that's basically what it does it's like a check item now okay I can click on this thing and it's basically gonna you know work like that so yeah pretty cool and all so is there anything else I need to take a look at there's one more thing that I just mentioned sorry that I just remembered uh, what if I wanted to basically create a separator between this menu and this menu well for that I'm gonna do this self.file.append separator okay and that's it now you see this little line between these two menus that's the separator okay so it's kind of separating these two menus well not sorry it's not separating the menus it's just separating the menu items okay you can use this anywhere within the menu so yeah it's pretty cool and now is there anything else I need to cover I don't think so I think I've covered pretty much everything uh, I mean the base stuff there's more obviously there's more functions there's like 20 alone I think for just the menu items or something or the menu I can't remember there's so many different things okay go ahead take a look at my website there's a link in the description below there's a lot of stuff you need to look at okay if you're really interested in building a full a uh, full-blown menu okay uh, this video is gonna be is gonna cover like 80% of what you'll need but there's still some more stuff that I think you'll need you know like uh, there's like something called append uh, in a specific position okay you can append not just sequentially rather than append items in a specific location there's a whole bunch of different stuff different functions okay Re regarding managing items in your menu bar okay there's a lot of stuff so be sure to check it out okay <sighs> but otherwise yeah we're approaching the 20 minute mark so we should just wrap this up right here 
I hope you, I see you guys in my later videos. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and support it. I hope you guys leave some feedback. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'll see you guys in the later videos.